Hello there, how are you guys been doing? I hope you've been doing great. So anyways, something that kind of caught my attention the last couple of days I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, do you remember Enlisted, you know, the game developed by Gaijin Entertainment, the guys that make uh, War Thunder, I think. Uh, so yeah, Enlisted, you know, came out a few years ago and it was supposed to be the H&G killer. I mean, H&G did die, so I guess you can call it that. I don't know if Enlisted had anything to do with it, to tell you the truth, but hey, that game could use all the praise it can get right now. Because uh, something happened in the last couple of days, uh, it's very, very interesting and fun to me. Uh, Gaijin Entertainment, you know, the developers of Enlisted, which we were gonna call uh, the snail till the end of the video, the sneaky snail. So these sneaky snails were supposed to release Enlisted at the start of 2014. 14? What the hell? Anyways, they were supposed to release Enlisted on Steam at the start of 2024, okay? So uh, a few days ago, they did release it on Steam, only there was a, a slight hiccup in the, the release. Uh, Enlisted was released for the price tag of 20 bucks on Steam. Now, for someone that doesn't know anything about Enlisted, th that wouldn't sound too bad, you know, it's like a World War II game. Um, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. 20 bucks isn't that much considering, you know, what people charge for video games in these uh, days. But uh, uh, the problem is that Enlisted is a free-to-play game. <laughs> you know, you can just go to the snail launcher and download it there and start playing for free free so for them to release it on steam for 20 bucks was uh, let's just say um not a smart thing considering that you know the people that play it on their launcher and the people that would want it to play it on steam they don't live in two different universes you know these two universes are actually one universe so these people know these people in fact they're probably the same types of people and uh, yeah and they're, they're trying to get someone to buy something that's free like i I honestly have nothing to say about that other than like what was the thought process or more importantly what were you hoping to accomplish I guess uh, supposedly the game release on Steam was b bundled with some kind of in-game stuff in order for you to play it on Steam you had to buy the bundle that gives you a lot of in-game stuff uh, anyways that's not really the the problem with the release because apparently actually some people tried to buy it on Steam you know the bundle they wanted the stuff that it had only that wasn't the worst part yet the worst part is that when you actually bought the game on steam and tried to play it you couldn't actually link your pre-existing account on the snail launcher meaning that all the progress that you already had on the other account your main one you it was gone that's it you couldn't have it so first of all you release the game that's supposed to be free I repeat free for the price of 20 bucks and then you can even do the one thing you're supposed to do with a steam release which is to link the accounts so that people don't lose their progress and the, and the worst part is that from what I understand that is that they already brought that matter up with their players before they released it on steam and the players were like nope please don't do that if you want to sell in-game bundles then make them separate like make the steam release like a different thing from like any in-game items you want to sell don't pair the two and make you have to buy the bundle in order to be able to play the game on steam and they went ahead and did it anyways <laughs> And again, I repeat, they screwed up the one thing that they were supposed to do, which, which is linking accounts between Steam and the Snail Launcher. And uh, yeah, so that didn't go great. And let me tell you, the reviews, they did not hold back, man. Like, they were all just negative. I encourage you to go to the enlisted Steam page and just go through the reviews and read them. They're hilarious, honestly. So as a result, the Snail kind of removed the early access thing. They just suspended it. Like, I think it was one or two days after they released it, they just completely removed it off Steam. I mean, you can't you can't get the game on Steam right now, not even for 20 bucks. But uh, it's not that they removed it. They should to honestly remove it. They, they shouldn't have done that to begin with. They shouldn't have released a free-to-play game for like 20 bucks to begin with. But uh, how they removed it, it was really really funny. They basically were like, "Hey, we screwed up. We know that we screwed up. We have nothing to say to you." So here, here is a picture of a cute cat. Take the cat and please forgive us. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, man, that was really smart. I gotta, I gotta give that move like a 10 out of 10. Like the cat was really, really cute. Not gonna lie, you know. It, it, you just, you look at the cat and you forget anything ever happened. Except they didn't just leave it at that. They were, they weren't like, hey, we sorry, we screwed up. Here's the cat. Just forgive us. They could have made a joke out of it and like, and the whole thing would have went under. But like. Uh, if you actually read the statement they put out, it's like, hey, we're sorry, we didn't know, we were trying to do something nice, but it didn't work out. Uh, and then about the Steam linking thing, they go, uh, well, it, the thing is that only happens with a few players that just, you know, they already played like War Thunder on Steam, so they already linked their Snail account to their Steam account. And uh, yeah, it's not really our fault, you know, if they could just give you the cat, say we're sorry, move on. 
That would have been better, but no, they didn't do that. They're like, here's the cat to distract you. Underneath it, we're just going to say, it's not really our fault. We're just going to deflect all the blame. It's not really our fault. It's nobody's fault, but it's not mostly our fault. Now, here's the thing. I used to play War Thunder a while back. I don't think I made any videos on it on my channel. And I did play Enlisted. I think I played Enlisted uh, all the way back in 2018 when it was like closed alpha. It looked like it had promise. I played it again, I think, in 2019 in the second closed alpha. And it looked like, I don't know, the game was heading in the right direction. I guess there was slight improvement. It wasn't as much as I hoped for, but at least it was improving. And then when the game finally came out, I played it a little bit and had a lot of fun playing it. But ultimately, what made me stop playing Enlisted, it just felt like the biggest issues that the game had, gameplay was, they weren't really getting addressed. Like, I always thought the movement was a bit clunky, could have been improved. I thought the game was really, really grindy as well. Apparently the grind is supposed to have been made better in the last few months. The reason why I actually found out about this is because I was thinking about giving Enlisted a second try when it got released on Steam, only for that to happen, you know? I mean, they removed it now off of Steam Early Access, but hopefully they're gonna bring it back soon, and hopefully it's gonna be for free this time around. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Thanks for watching. Bye.